Now, back to Tell Me Everything on Sirius XM Progress 127. This is Sirius XM Progress. I'm John Fugel saying we want to wish all of y'all a very happy and healthy St. Patrick's Day. To that end, I want to bring over one of the most logical people we know. Y'all know Keith Price as the first openly gay and maybe the first openly black radio host here at Sirius XM Progress on the late lamented OutQ channel. He did the morning show and it was wonderful. The man is stronger than the pandemic itself. Welcome, my hump day bay, Keith Price. Hey, daddy how you doing? <laughs> Not so shabby, how you doing? I'm all right, man. I'm all right. I'm just... You know, I'm like awash with all the racism of the week. <laughs> it's just, I mean, it's just it's so much. <laughs> incredible. Uh, so I think, Keith, considering this much is going on, let's beat up Lindsey Graham, shall we? <laughs> it's important, sure, Keith. why not? <laughs> you can't let the trials of the day distract you from the things that matter, like exactly. dunking on Lindsey Graham with your loved ones. It's just a thing that good people do. Well, you know, the thing is, is that I was going to dunk on him earlier, but then all this other stuff happened in between. <laughs> I know. Is it awkward? I mean, you've just written a really great piece on no. uh all about Lindsey Graham called Who's Your Daddy? Well played. <laughs> um, and, of course, Lindsey Graham is suddenly only the 40th most loathsome person in America this week. However, spin that wheel. It'll be his time again. Oh, well, sure. He'll be back around. It's like I think right now the the luxury that he's got is that – you know, his commentary as of late has been just, you know, dog whistling reparations. That's that's his big to do. Yeah. Like, everything else has just been, geez, Louise, like, what the hell is going on in this country? Like, well, you know, he, what's going on is Lindsey Graham sits down for Axios for an interview. And Axios uh, is a great news source. But Axios isn't going to ask the kind of questions that make Lindsey Graham not want to come back. And maybe no. that's good because they gave him enough rope to hang himself. He, he said he wanted to harness some of the magic that Donald Trump has, which I hope means he wants to run for president again. But then he said he compared Trump to uh, Jesse Helms, Ronald Reagan, and P.T. Barnum. Uh, he compared Trump to a racist, uh, a racist who was really dim as a celebrity, and a racist who was a fraud artist who exploited people. Uh, three noted racists that he <laughs> compared Trump to. <laughs> It's like I've never seen a guy who's a uh, I've never seen a closeted gay man who votes for homophobic bills who also wants to have it both ways, Keith. Well, I mean, he's he's doing what most, you know, uh, you know, allegedly closeted gay men do when they seek positions of power. Like this this is what happens cuz that that insecurity is insane. But like with but for me with him is it's like I don't care anymore. Like, that yeah. to me is not the issue anymore because, you know, that's what he's got to live with every day as long as he's alive. You know, he's going to have to live with whatever dirty bookstores he may or may not be going to. He's going to have, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> he's got to go through all that process on his own, you know. So, like, he's he's in that place for me. So, I, I, you know, I could care less. But what's really just gross about him is just how obsequious he is now and how it's like it's just so it, it's it's disgusting to watch him and i'm telling you that guy steve schmidt man when he gets to getting nasty he just throws it out there and when he called this guy that that the remora fish where you you basically are chewing the carry-ons of the predator that you're sucking on to because you yeah. are afraid to swim on your it's like it is lindsey graham you know 101 it described him to it i agree me. And, and, but it's know. true. It's interesting how Lindsey Graham is cunning, and he's a man who has very few legislative accomplishments. He's the only person who prosecuted the impeachment of Bill Clinton, who actually rose in Congress and stayed there. You know, when you consider the level of right. hypocrisy, and he did it by latching on like a barnacle to a dinghy to stronger men, uh, like a prison punk latching on to a daddy. <laughs> his first day in Gen Pop, if you will. Um, you know, I, hey, we watched all those prison films we watched together, Keith. You know what I mean? Uh, like, like, look how he says. He compares Trump to Jesse Helms, Ronald Reagan, and P.T. Barnum. Now, Lindsey knows by saying that, it'll make Trump fans feel happy. And mm -hmm. by having the P.T. Barnum thing there and the Jesse Helms thing, it's a wink to it's the wink. sane people that Lindsey knows that Trump's kind of full of shit. But it's only a half wink, you know? And, and just like when he said Trump's an equal opportunity abuser, like he really thinks that that's going to parse it so he can have yeah. it both ways. 
and uh, well, I mean, like Trump for being mean to people he doesn't like, but while still calling Trump out for being mean. It's so weaselly, it befits Lindsey Graham. It's weaselly, but then, you know, when he's like, and then, you know, when it's the end of the day, he's, you know, he's really just very charming. And you're just like, yeah. what the hell is wrong with you? Like, <laughs> like what, what, what the hell's wrong Nolan, with him? You, you Be- need to have smacking you. No, like, that's that how is- Lindsey Graham has survived. Listen, people always say, how could Lindsey Graham vote to impeach Bill Clinton for consensual activities and, and, and then vote to acquit Donald Trump twice? What, what's this 180? And I'm like, there's never been a 180. Lindsey Graham has mm-hmm. always been a craven, talentless opportunist who will say or do anything to get votes or donations. That's it. Impeaching Bill Clinton for bullshit while letting Trump off the hook for real high crimes. That's both completely in Lindsey Graham's nature, because Lindsey Graham cares about Lindsey Graham, and that's it. Isn't it wild? And when you think about that, when you just said it, like the the amount of actual legislation and work that he's actually done, he's truly done nothing. That's you know right. What I'm saying? Nothing. Think that's about super this. Notable. Yeah. He's never, you know, latched on and created some legislation that's changed the world. He's done nothing, no, nothing. for the last however many years that he's been in that job. And His great amazing, achievement is getting. His great achievement is getting homophobic racists who hate him to keep on sending him back to Congress. She That's his great achievement. Sending him back to Congress and, and keeping him in a job that he doesn't deserve and a job that he doesn't actually do. And yeah. so, you know, not for nothing, he's one of so many of them. I heard you talking about Gomert and that damn not wanting to put the insurrection there. And then the names of the people that you listed, the folks that you, you, you called out, I kept thinking the reason that they don't want insurrection to be attached is because in about mm, five or six months, we're going to wind up seeing all of their names attached to some lawsuit, some you know, commission that's going to show how much of they, how involved they may have been with all of that. And I'd they do not it. want that attached to history. They certainly do not want their names attached to that. Well, you know, as long as we're guilty and they know it. And you know what? As long as we're talking about the party of white male straight grievance, my question to you is, what do you think people are going to think about years from now when they hear the words Lindsey Graham? Is that going to bring to mind public service? Nope. They're going to think about some swishy Southern Bell wannabe who happened to luck himself into a really, really great gig and, as you said, have convinced a lot of people to spend a lot of money because he's a useful idiot. Yeah. Lindsey Graham, at at this stage of the game, though, there's nothing more that we can say about him that his life and life works record is not going to show. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like it's very, you know, we can make fun of him as much as we want, and of course we will because we're comedians and we can't help ourselves. But, like, you know, he is really, he's a really sad man when you think about the fact that he thinks that he's fooled people this whole lifetime. and like He know, has. He's fooled white know. voters in South Carolina for decades. He has. They, that's because their agenda is bigger than his homosexuality or alleged well put. homosexuality. Well put. Yeah, yeah I yeah. love the piece. You know, bless I, I love your heart. piece, Keith, and I'm not saying that in a Thank sexualizing you. way. I love your piece. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who's your daddy <laughs> on Hey, Jorge? <laughs>